Greg Nori ambushed my school. Julian, get you to yourself to the office now. And then we killed him with the awesomeness at the Starlight Lounge. Yeah! <laughs> now we're here at Much Music to do the same to the judges. Yeah! Don't yeah. so bust in the house! But first we have to set up our secret weapon, the robot! Whoa! Oh, it's getting gangster in here. Light show plus robot equals magic, man. Equals magic. Yeah. saw these kids at their dad's club it reminded me of why I was I got into music in the first place which was all its positive raw energy it was so refreshing to see something come along that 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 just reminded you of how magic music can be Well, well, well. Oh. If it ain't dog boss, stop right there. <laughs> do you promise you're gonna rock it tonight? We are gonna rock the top off of this place. You promise you're gonna do everything in your power to get the thumbs up? We're, we're going crazy, yeah. we're going crazy. Yeah. Then, if you promise this, that you're gonna deliver and we're gonna get the thumbs up, I'm gonna present to you, from the kind, kind people of Much Music and Monster, we've got a pair of Monster, Beats by Dr. Dre, high definition oh, headphones for you guys because oh, you deserve it. That's why. Yes, uh, thank Here you. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Uh, that was crazy because uh, my headphones pretty much suck. And like when recording stuff, that's awesome for recording because Dr. Dre, he's the best producer out there. Put them on, see how well they fit. Hell yeah. Look at that. There. Oh, you feel no. like a pro? He's straight out of Compton. I'm coming straight out of Compton. <laughs> awesome. Dr. Dre, they're gonna sound so awesome. We'll be rocking these every time we go into the studio. Crazy. I've seen these in all the videos, Cardinal's video. Now they're yours. Oh, yes. Only the best for the dog bus we need. That was awesome. All right, so who's the judges tonight? Let's start with Mark Spitzman. He is the founder and now president of Underground Operations. Stone runs it. Have you ever heard of this? No. All right, so Protest the Hero would be the biggest thing that's come oh. off of there. Uh -huh. So it's a real, it's a very successful indie label in Canada. So successful it got picked up by Universal Records. He's now a A&R guy up there, all right? So okay, with him, you have to, you have two shots. If he really likes you, you've got, he can put you on Underground Operations, which is an indie label, probably the biggest indie label in Canada. Awesome. And if he really, really likes you, he's also the A&R guy for Universal. <laughs> so this is, this is your record company side of, of the judges. <clears throat> Secondly, you got an agent. Do you know what agents do? Yes. Um. Okay, what Secret are they? agent. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a briefcase with a gun in it. <laughs> Mission Impossible. <laughs> okay, so his name's Colin Lewis, and he works at the agency group. The agency group have offices all over the world, and if you want to know how when somebody rolls into the ACC or the Cool House and sells it out, how do these unknown bands get that opening slot? It's because an agent put them there. Oh, All right. Okay. So these people are the kind of people that can open doors for getting you on that Beastie Boys opening slot when they roll oh, into town. Yeah. yeah. That's the guy you want to impress. <laughs> <laughs> you kill me. And, um, and finally, we've got a guy named Chase Parsons. Now this guy comes from a management company called Chris Smith Management. Chris Smith Management manages Nelly Furtado, oh. Chaos, oh. Uh, Socrates. He's got Fifi Dobson. Okay, they're very much a hip-hop urban lay, uh, management company, okay? Awesome. You guys need to impress this guy. <laughs> this guy's very important to you for what you do. He's yeah. been in the business for 14 years. You've got a perfect lineup of judges for what you guys are doing, right? Yeah. Don't be afraid of them. Work it. Go out there, run around, do whatever you get have to do. Feet. Yeah, get in the... Judges. But don't annoy them, but yeah. don't annoy them. <laughs> yeah, get in their face a bit though. Honestly, it'll, yeah. this will go far, trust me. Like, I'll go up to them and be like, if I had a Yes, 
That's what I want you to do. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Don't do too much. Just at one no. point or something. And, uh, and and just remember to do that. Are you nervous? Um, a little bit now. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, think so you this know. was not a good idea <laughs> bringing you up here. No, but we can do it. Well, good luck, man. I'll talk to you after when I know we'll all be celebrating. Welcome to Much Music. Our next two MCs are here representing Kitchener Waterloo. Oh, and they're here to prove that being gangsta is all about having a good time. Greg Norrie was really impressed okay. by their infectious energy and their confidence. Oh, it's as real as it gets right now. As the youngest disband performers ever, we're excited to find out if they have what it takes to impress our judges or if they'll be told to disband. Please give it up for Dog Butt. <laughs> We'll do you, our new dance for you, 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 yes. and you. Whoa. You can even join in if you'd like. Really? Yes, you can. Yeah. I love unicorn. Oh, we'll Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, Dog Bust has left the room, the original gangsters. Awesome. It was mind blowing. It was awesome, yo. So, what did you think of that performance? Sarah, I thought it was horrible. We've come a long way in three days. From getting ambushed at school. Get you to yourself to the office now. To having played in front of some industry heavy hitters. If I had a robot. So here we sit in the green room waiting for our fate to be decided. Man, you guys killed it. Thank you, you absolutely killed it. There's no way you're not getting the thumbs up. I've never seen the the I've never seen that panel of judges light up like that ever. So what did you think of that performance? Sarah, I thought it was horrible. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't break my little robot heart. We've been saying over and over and over again on the show that we want the lead singer to work us, to really engage us. And this 11-year-old kid figures it out. I was shocked. I didn't even know what to do. I was like, this kid's 11. Yeah, that was, that was great. <laughs> Him going up there showed the confidence and got them more into it than they already were. So it was awesome. By far the most entertaining thing we've seen on the show yet, no question. I think it's incredible. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. And the kid could actually rap. I you know, know, he got some Beastie Boy in him. He, yeah. can, he can rap, so you know. I didn't think you were going to run out. I thought you were going to forget. Were you really nervous? Oh, um, yeah. Well, when I was performing, then it ran up, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, it's, there's a, a lot of kitsch going on, but. A lot. At the same time, it's actually a song that, you know, is probably simple enough to be taken by somebody else and, remember, you know, and use as a hit. Yeah. Listen, you're saying kitschy, but I think that a lot of what was happening here was kind of the most honest stuff we've seen in a while. The best thing you get from these is 